this earthquake is coming close to 15,000 kilometer, uh, you know, from eastern China. So you see how large the earthquake is. Uh, we can pick them easily in here. Uh, anything magnitude 6.5 and higher, we can pick it up from uh, uh, Asia or anywhere from South America. Uh, if magnitude 5, we can pick them up from, you know, the main continent, North American continent. The University of Manitoba, um, Dr. Uh, Andrew Fredrickson actually have earthquake uh, uh, research going on all over Manitoba. He have stations in here, uh, Star Lake, and also uh, some part of northern Manitoba. That's basically a research uh, uh, tool, but this is for students' teaching purposes. This one is being used just for teaching, for public relation and teaching purposes. We bring our students, we give them an earthquake uh, seismograph, seismogram, and tell them to compute the travel time, the amplitude, and so different uh, aspects of uh, earthquake seismology. This is actually, this is the recording part of the instrument. Uh, the seismometer itself is in the basement of Wallace Building. What you see here is a seismic vault. Seismic vault is actually created to keep the instruments, the seismometers, away from noise. So, we have a concrete uh, uh, platform in here and it's isolated from the building and from the outside noise by this uh, rubber uh, to attenuate any noise. Any noise that comes from outside gets absorbed. So this rubber actually goes uh, you know, several meters. Uh, well, and this platform also is connected to the bedrock using uh, pillars, eh? you know, concrete pillars, they go all the way 20 meters into the bedrock. So any noise they pick up inside, monitors are almost like our ears. Any noise that comes is coming from actually the bedrock. And noise that comes from the bedrock mostly is also related to earthquake or, or even you know, unless it's, there is explosion, it can be also artificial explosion. So, so this earthquake we saw from um, China, it traveled all the way, you know, through the body of the earth. And once it reached in Manitoba, you know, those pillars, they start vibrating, and those vibration transfer into this platform, and this earthquake, and these seismometers, they have a mass hanging. As soon as the mass starts you know, shaking, that is convert electrical energy and passed on into the amplifier here. The amplifier, because the signal is so weak, so small, minute, the signal is amplified in the, in the amplifier here. And the amplified signal is fed into the helicopter or the drum recorder, which is located in the main floor of the Wallace building. 